Hi guys. Hey, uh, this is Chef Frank Murphy at uh, North Penn High School and another video in our series. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about fish. I've got two nice fish here. This was donated by Chuck's Fe Seafood out there in Charleston. Thank you very much for those guys. And uh, a black rockfish and, um, and a small link cod. Just perfect for us. Um, so, if you're going to have to get some fish, or how do you look after it, um, we'll just talk about that a little bit, and then I'll go and fillet these up and finish off cooking up a little bit of it. So, I'm kind of lucky. I've got a, a container here. Uh, so one sits inside the other, and the bottom container has, or the, sorry, the top container has holes in it, so the ice is able to just drain down into this bottom container. You know, the fish is already dead, and we don't want to go and drown it again. So, you want to not have it lying in water and stuff. You want to look after the fish. And ice is, is one of the best things to do. This is a, is a kind of a crushed ice and uh, nice and small particles, and it will stay. But it, whatever you have, um, that's what you want to do. And of course, keep it refrigerated. Now, so let's say you go into a store and you want to buy fish. Um, and you're kind of looking around, you see a piece of fish that you like. How are you, how are you going to tell that it's nice and fresh and stuff? You know, <coughs> the best thing to do is if you can if you can see the whole fish, and I'll lift this guy up here a bit. And we want to treat them gently too. We don't want to throw them around. They're just going to bruise up the flesh and break it and stuff. So first off, the skin needs to be moist. It does, if it's dried, uh, dried, um, that's not good. So you want to have that moist and uh, kind of that. Um, feel of the ocean on there. And the smell should not, it should not smell like fish. Fresh fish has very little smell. And it should smell nice and fresh. The eyes should be full and uh, not kind of down, you know, you can see it here, they're nice and full. They're not um, shrunken into to the head or anything. And you kind of look over the body and make sure that there's no gashes and stuff like that. Um, you see, you just want to treat it nice and gently. Um, as for salmon and stuff like that, sometimes you see people thrown around by the tails of the heads and stuff. You know, just um, treat it gently. You're, you're just going to keep that flesh the best. Um, what else am I going to look for? Well, I said you want to smell it fresh. The other thing to do, and this is what I do, when I walk into a uh, fishmonger's or fish store or anywhere smelling fish, I want to walk in, I want to smell it being fresh. The store should be fresh. There shouldn't be that stale fish smell in there. The other thing that you don't want to be uh, smelling is lots of bleach. Because uh, sometimes uh, less scrupulous places will kind of use some bleach water and kind of dip the fish in and it'll kind of make it look fresher and kind of take away any smell and stuff. So um, if you pick up a piece of fish, you see a piece of fish and, and you get a whiff of a, a bleachy smell, uh, don't, don't bother with it. So you're looking for nice eyes to be nice and and bright, you can see this here. Um, you want to have that that sea slime kind of a feel on it. It should not be um, dry, and and it should just look and and smell fresh. Um, I'll put that guy back in there, and we got the link cod here. And you can see again. Look, his eyes are nice and bright. The skin is looking good, and the, the fish is all moist. And this just came in, so. Uh, just perfect here. Now, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have to, I want to, I want to fillet them. So let's just move this over to the side here. Um, if you don't have a tray that has holes in it and stuff, you know, you can put the fish into a plastic bag or something and put your ice around it. But just make sure that the water doesn't get into the bag. Um, just, you know, if you use your head, you, you can, you can uh, work something out. Um, and then, of course, if it's fresh, use it quickly. Don't let it sit around. Uh, fillet it up. If you're going to freeze it, you can freeze it flat on a tray. Um, some people like to dip them into some water and stuff and then uh, freeze them up. Um, I just put them on a tray, let them freeze, and then put them into a Ziploc bag. Um, or if I have a backpack, or back it, backpack it, and then uh, put it back in my freezer to keep it. Um, but uh, nice and flat on a tray will freeze the quickest. That's what you really need to do. So, uh, one of the <coughs> things about doing fish is obviously you're going to have to keep washing your hands as normal. But, um, so, we'll, let's start with this guy, this little black, black rockfish here. I have my filleting knife. 
It's got the flexible uh, blade on it. I want to make sure that it, I have a good edge. And um, pretty easy. You're just going to come in and you want to go up into the head area there. Just kind of work your way around the little bone there. Try not to leave meat on uh, the carcass. You know, it's, it's spendy enough and you want to be able to use the whole thing. So I've got that nice up there. I'm a little rusty at, at uh, filleting fish. It's been quite a while. You know, uh, when ba Back when I would have been working in hotels and stuff, um, you know, we did a lot, of, a lot of fish filleting. So I'm just following the backbone here. And um, let me try and see it, make it so you guys can see there. And I'm keeping my blade running against the bone. That way it doesn't go up into the flesh and give myself little cuts and stuff in there, okay? So just follow the bone. Now, there are many, many different ways of filleting fish. Um, some people will like to uh, use one of those uh, uh, electric knives and stuff and they just cut right through the bone and then go in afterwards and clean it up. Um, I just like to follow the bone. I guess it was probably just the way the way I was uh, was trained so I'm kind of used to doing it that way. And I'm just working away here around the, the rib cage. There we go. This piece is almost. And I'll come down here. And I'm just going to put on this tray here. And of course, all the time you want to be keeping your fish nice and cold. Okay. Now on this side, again, I'm just going to reach in underneath the bone there. And you want to be careful too. Some fish have uh, quite sharp uh, fins and edges on them here and even around the gills here. Uh, we used to have a fish at home, we used to call it, um, it was a sea bass, and uh, oh, it would take the hands off you. So I'm just going to work around here like this. And I'm sure there's plenty of you guys out there that are going, oh my God, he's going so slow on it. Um, but I'm just taking my time today. right up in there. And I'm sure if I was working out there and uh, Chucks, they'd be shouting at me, come on, you got to do faster. Okay. A little bit there. I got my two fillets. I can use the uh, body here for um, uh, some stock. Uh, maybe take off some of the skin there because sometimes that can uh, kind of make your stock a little bit funky. But uh, yeah, just kind of simmer it up with some veggies and stuff and it will be good to go. And then I'm just going to do the same with the link cod here. fillet off of the uh, link cod here. So I'm just going to go in and just kind of trim up, uh, take a little bit of that uh, fin off here. Just work my way. And again, be really careful. You don't want to lose any of the meat, okay? 
Sometimes they go down to, to you know, along where uh, in, in Charleston or where people bring up their boats and stuff, and especially when the salmon was going and you're kind of watching. And, and you watch people and they're filling up the salmon. And, and uh, a lot of people will do it great. And then you'll have people that will just kind of hack at it and they'll throw away half of the meat, you know, the belly meat and all that sort of stuff. And that's just a shame, you know. Look, you've got to treat the fish um, with some respect. Okay, so I've got that one's kind of nicely trimmed up on that side. Now I'll have a look at this one here. And just a little bit there. What I'm doing, I'm just feeling for little bits of bone. And I know that, that we have a line going down here. So I want to make sure that I don't have anything. See, there's one there. Any little surprises there, you know, uh, that we would... Uh, do a nice dish with them and find a, a piece of bone that somebody wasn't expecting. And that looks good. We've got the rockfish here. We'll just kind of check on that there, a little bit of uh, trim here. And just a little bit here. stubborn piece of uh, bone there. Just want to go. And we'll go along here. Take this little fin off. Oops. Got a little bit more up here. And just trying to take as little as I can. Um, there we go. Just a little tiny bit there. And we'll put her up onto our tray. And trying to work as cleanly as possible too. I don't want to have uh, fish all over my my countertop. all over myself. Let me just go in here, take these guys out. Oops. Another one. You know, people often ask me, uh, what, uh, what do I like to do cooking-wise? And actually, to tell you the truth, it's fish. I do like to um, to cook. Okay, so I think well, what I would like to do now is to to uh, remove the skin on on these guys. Um, pretty easy. You're just going to go to the back here, go down just a little bit, and get your knife down right onto the skin. It's slightly angled, so it's not going to pop up and, and cut the flesh, and just let it slide along. Um, and you'll see that it'll come off just nice and easy. There we go, and we've got the skin. And hopefully we didn't leave <coughs> any uh, flesh on there. We'll do the same with this piece. And you'll see again, right up underneath there. A uh, little tip here, if the skin is very slippy and you just kind of can't hold on to it. Grab a little bit of salt on between your fingers and just put it on there and the, store, the salt will act like a little abrasive and kind of help you um, hold on to the skin and stuff. So we got those and then we'll go ahead and do the same I think with the, um, the ling. Get my knife right up underneath there. Knife has to be sharp, okay? Again, angling it down towards the skin. I think you didn't do too bad of a job there. Put this guy back up here. And we get the last one. And this looks just really nice, this fish here. <coughs> there we go. Again, I 
I didn't lose too much of the skills. I'm just going to take that little bit off there. There we go. Again, I'm, as I'm as I'm moving it around, I'm supporting the the, the flesh. Okay. Now, if if I wasn't going to use this until a bit later on, I would um, make sure that I ice it back down again. Use the same tray as I have. Get it cold. Get it back into your refrigerator. Um, fish does not like to be left out at, at um, room temperature and stuff like that. It just will lose um, that freshness very quick. So I think what we'll do here is just uh, maybe portion this piece out a little bit. Now, <coughs> you can just cut straight down, um, or we would call those darns. Um, or what I always like to do is cut at a slight angle. Now, we used to call, we used to have a little nickname on this, and it was really um, getting some plate coverage. Because what, when you cut sl at a slight angle, that piece of fish looks bigger. Um, you may have the same weight-wise, as a piece that was just cut straight down. But when you cover it at a slight angle, it will cover more of the plate and it will look bigger. So a little little trick from the from the restaurants there. I think I'll just take this little bit of bone out here and miss that. There we go. So I'm gonna put these guys back on my tray here. Again treating it gently. And there we have some fish cut up. Um, next stage will be to cook, cook it, so keep watching, and uh, we'll just do a very simple dish with a bit of this fish, okay? So thank you very much.